Hi, my name is Jacob Yonida, and my partner's name is Jose Garcia, which you will hear him later on in the presentation. We are going to talk about BACnet, which is Building Automation and Control Network, for HVAC, which is Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning. Coming up in our presentation is the history of BACnet, the different types of BACnet, the standard protocols for BACnet, the BACnet layers, firmware compatibility, identifying devices on BACnet, then we will show you what a BBMD does, which BBMD stands for BACnet Broadcast Management Device. There are problems that happens in networks that do not use BACnet protocol. Which two of these problems are is there communication difficulties between vendor devices and is there difficulties of signal traffic? The development of the BACnet protocol began in 1987 in Nashville, Tennessee at the inaugural meeting of the Standards Project Committee, SC SPC. The committee worked at reaching consensus using working groups to divide up tasks and creating the standards. The working groups focused on specific areas and provided information and recommendations to the main committee. The first three working groups were the data type and attribute working group, primitive data format working group, and the application services working group. BACnet became a ASHRAE SNS standard 135 and 1995 and the ISO 164845 in 2003. Shortly after becoming a ASHRAE ASHRAE standard, BACnet had an almost immediate impact on HVC control in the HVC control industry. There are different types of BACnets, which is BACnets IP and BACnets MSTP. The BACnet runs on top of the TCP IP protocols. BACnet IP broadcasts information just like a hub which broadcasts all that information to every single device that is on that network. To control what devices know what will come up in the BBMD section. BACnet MSTP which MSTP means Master Slave Token Passing. ASHRAE is American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers. ANSI is American National Standards Institute. ANSI and ASHRAE 135-2010 protocol allows building equipment and system manufactured by different companies to work together. This protocol also lets wireless communication to devices that are unable to be reached by wired networks. ISO is International Organization for Standardization. ISO 16484-6 2009 gives a set of procedures that make sure that it has the correct implementation of every compatibility that is claimed in the BACnet PIC PICS means Protocol Implementation Conformance Statement. 
A service in BACnet has to be claimed as a initiator or executor or both. After being claimed as a initiator, executor or both, it supports every BACnet object type which includes both required properties and optional properties. Also after being claimed it supports the network layer, data link option, and every claim special functionality of a device. Bugnet has a layered protocol architecture based on a collapsed, a collapsed version of the Open Systems Interconnection OSI model. Layers 1, 2, 3, and 7 of the OSI model are used. Common application layer and network layer protocols are used with any of four options for local area networking. Technologies are point-to-point -point protocol suitable for dial-up telephone communications. The network layer provides a way to interconnect the similar LANs to form an internetwork. Each of these protocols layers will be described in more detail in the following sections. In the data link layer, BACnet uses ARCnet Attached Resource Computer Network, a LAN protocol similar in purpose to Ethernet and Token Ring, was the first widely available network system for microcomputers and became popular in the 1980s for office automation tasks. It has since gained a following in, embedded, in the embedded systems market where certain features of the protocol are useful. It also uses Lontalk, a protocol optimized for control developed by the Eklon Corporation for networking devices over such media as twisted pairs, power lines, fiber optics, and RF. It is popular for automation various the industry control, automation transportation building systems such as lighting and HVC. A point-to-point -point data link is traditionally a communication medium with exactly two endpoints and no data or packet formatting. BACnet uses a more modern form of this protocol that accommodates modern modem protocols V.32 Biz and V.42 and also supports direct cable connections using the AIA-232 signaling standard. BACnet MSTP is a data link protocol unique to BACnet. This is commonly used as a field bus. The acronym MSTP stands for Master Slave Token Passing. This protocol uses EIA-485 as the physical layer. This protocol is defined using three state machines, Master Node Finite State Machine, Slave Node st Finite State Machine, and Receive Frame Finite State Machine. Also, a device is either a Master Node or a Slave Node. MSTP Master Nodes are similar to those of other peer-to-peer -peer protocols. At PowerUp, each Master Node waits for the time slot based on its MAC address ranging from, a, ranging from 0 to 127 to begin searching for peers. When a peer is found, that token is passed to the peer and the other peer begins looking for its peer. Once a node has its peer identified, it participates in token passing and only searches for a peer every 50 token passes. Devices that are installed with MSTP are usually very small and inexpensive. Though in the past seven years, the BACnet standard have made this popular field bus even more robust, adding a, adding a slave proxy to free MSTP, MT, MSTP slaves and reduce site configuration. The BACnet network layer and the OSI network layer are very similar, though some functions assigned to the network layer and the OSI model are not required in BACnet. One example is selecting a communication path between source and destination devices. BACnet imposes a requirement that at most one active path can exist between two devices. BACnet defines its network layer protocol services that allow routers tables to be configured, allowing routers to search for the path of destination network and manage temporary connections to remote networks through a dial-up telephone connection. Routers can also indicate to client devices that a path to destination cannot be located. The way BotNet defines its network layer is very important for the flexibility of BotNet internet networking. 